it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel in today's video we are finally going to be trying out the new Pat McGrath labs foundation so essentially I bought the whole system um, on the day that it came out um, I got like the bundle with the powder the primer and the foundation um, however like I never got a shipping confirmation it just kind of showed up to my door one day I ended up ordering medium 21 um, which was like a golden olive undertone and I just felt like that was the best one for my complexion and also the powder that it came with um, in like the group that it was in because it was medium it came with the medium 3 powder I think it was called unfortunately when they sent the product they sent the wrong bundle and they ended up sending me medium deep 22 which isn't a horrible shade. It's a little bit deeper than the shade that I wanted and it's a red undertone, which is really unfortunate. And then because it's in the medium deep category, they sent the medium deep powder, which is way too dark for my skin. They have a really, really good customer service team. I emailed them. I literally got an email back, I think that night. And the lady was, you know, going to send me the right stuff. However, it sold out before she could. And because they don't have a um, restock date, I'm kind of like stuck. But I wanted to go ahead and film the video so you guys can at least see the foundation and the primer in action. But yeah, if you're interested in that, then please continue to watch. <laughs> As you guys know, Pat McGrath is really, really great about her packaging. It usually is like, a black packaging with like the gold print on it and it's always really beautiful this is the skin fetish sublime perfection primer all right so the thing about it is this is a $60 primer you do get one ounce it's marketed a little bit more like I guess skincare ish which is awesome um, however just looking at the package and the fact that it is Pat McGrath and it's $60 I was really really disappointed for one it's super duper lightweight like it feels like almost like an aerosol can like it's really really light and then it has like this cardboard sticker wrapping on it and it's like it, it comes off like right there can y'all see that um, and it's almost like it doesn't fit the whole bottle. It was it's just really weird I don't know, but I really really don't like this like it feels cheap <laughs> Now with the actual primer itself in the bottle like I said it is supposed to be a little bit like skincare It's almost a mixture between the Fenty Beauty primer the um, original one and Like the touch and soul no problem. It's like in between those two where it's like lotiony, almost silicone-y, but not really. Cause I don't even think this has silicone in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Now I do already have like the rest of my skincare. I have my serum on, I have my eye cream on, and I also have on a moisturizing lotion that has SPF in it since I'll be going outside today. But I typically let like my regular skincare dry down before I go in with my primer and go in with my makeup. If you guys see like little white specks here and there, it's not the primer doing anything. It's actually like my gel. So it is a very moisturizing and dewy Primer. Now with that being said, I don't feel like this sinks into the skin enough for me. Like it does a good job of like blurring everything out and making it dewy, but I don't feel like it's sunk into the skin. Because honestly, and every time that I've tried this, it doesn't even really dry down, like it just kind of sits. It does give you a nice moisturized feel. I just don't know how well my skin is absorbing it, if that makes sense. So moving on to the foundation, um, this is a Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is the actual packaging it comes in, which I am going to keep because I think it's very beautiful. This is more along the lines of what I expect from Pat McGrath, very weighty in all of her materials. Um, nothing looks like tacky, it looks like it's actually supposed to be on there, even though I think this is a sticker, but it actually looks like... Like you can't peel it off necessarily unless you're really, really trying. But I love the packaging. Now the foundation itself is $68. You get 1.18 ounces, which is a little bit more than your standard like one ounce. It comes in 36 shades. This is the shade Medium Deep 22. And I have been trying it out. It's not horrible, especially like because my, my shoulders are a little bit darker than my face. It's not horrible. It's workable for me. I'm gonna do two pumps because that's usually, you know, what can fill my whole face with this. And as you can see, it is runny. Usually in these videos, I go in with a brush on one side and a sponge on another. I'm not gonna do that with this foundation because I do not like the way that it looks on my skin with a brush. Um, it doesn't really sink in, especially with this primer. It doesn't really sink into the skin. It kind of sits on top, and then by the end of the day, it feels really gross. So I'm gonna use a sponge, and I'm gonna use two pumps for my entire face. All 
All right, so this is one full layer. As you can see, it's very, very luminous and glowy. One of the days that I tried it, I tried three layers just to see how layerable it is. Um, and for my skin, it felt really, really heavy, really, really thick, and it didn't hide any of like my moles and stuff. It was still very skin-like. So my thing is, I'm gonna only go with one layer today. Um, it can be layered up to two layers, but I would not do any more than two layers with this foundation. All right, now the powder is $55. You can get it at Sephora, I believe, but it does come in five colors. This is the color Medium Deep 4. Um, if you're more along the lines of my complexion, I do believe that the Medium 3 or even the Medium 2, was it light 2 or Medium 2, would be okay. Um, but yeah, so just for a reference, I'm going to definitely set this today. I think I'm going to use the uh, Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we'll come back and we'll have a little chat. Right, one thing I did want to mention was when I was putting my contour on today, it kind of skipped on this side and this side. Um, and it's the Fenty Beauty uh, Matte Sticks. I use this all the time. You guys already know. It's one of my favorite like contours. So I'm not exactly sure what that was. And even though I set with the Sephora Micro Smooth Baking Powder, um, one, my face is still shiny, but two, it's also still very sticky, very tacky. I do feel like I probably went a little bit heavier with the makeup than I wanted to do today. <laughs> Um, especially because this is such a lightweight foundation. It's very skin like very like natural I guess for me. It just doesn't feel like at least today It doesn't feel like balance like the eye look and the everything else with the actual skin um, I've had better makeup days <laughs> All right, so with that being said it is now 204 just to give you guys a heads up. I know at a certain point I'm not going to want this on my face anymore um, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a six to eight hour wear test. Hopefully I can make it that long. Um, I do have a few errands I have to run so I will be out in heat, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I will see you guys in the next clip at the end of the day. Woo, I am so tired. <laughs> All right, but I'm back and this is what my face is looking like. It is now 8.30. So I didn't do the full eight hour wear test. The longest I think I've worn this foundation was 10 hours, eight to 10 hours. And I can honestly tell you it is not a long wearing foundation. Even with all the oils and everything, this foundation after about the fourth hour starts to slip and slide on my skin. Um, and now I have dry skin. <laughs> So when I get a foundation that's super oily on me, like really oily, um, to the point that not only is it like noticeably oily, like you can see the light reflecting, <laughs> um, you know, all that shine, but I can feel this on my face. It is so heavy. While I do think the initial application of everything is really beautiful, um, just as time goes on, my skin just looks not so good close up <laughs> as far as the actual primer for my skin type it just does not work i just feel like the primer makes the foundation sit on top and so everything just looks like this weird layer or at least it feels like a layer i don't know if it looks like it but it does definitely feel like it now what i will say about the foundation in general um aside from this what I will say about the foundation in general, I like it better with the NARS Pour and Shine Control Primer. Um, I know this is like supposed to be like a, um, a soft mattifying primer, so it's not sucking out my skin completely. And it almost feels a little bit moisturizing, but it sinks into my skin. Um, and then I can put this on top and get a little bit more wear out of it. Maybe instead of four hours, I can get like five or six hours. I'm gonna try to insert a picture on the screen of me wearing this foundation with the NARS primer so you guys can see what that looks like. Now, as far as the powder goes, um, again, like I can't really say too much about it except for the fact that it feels really soft. I don't think it mattifies that much because I used it on my cheek as like a bronzing situation and as you can see, I'm still super duper shiny. So it doesn't keep your oils at bay at all. As far as the way I'm actually looking now, aside from the crazy amount of oil, um, I do get slight creasing with this foundation, not to the point that like, 
it's a deal breaker, but I do get it. It is noticeable. Um, it does transfer really, really easy, even with the oils popping through, even with setting it. Every setting powder that I've used, um, you know, it still pops through, especially with this primer. I honestly think uh, with the overall launch, I was a little bit disappointed. One, because, you know, I got sent the wrong stuff. But two, I just, I think I wanted a little bit more. Um, not in terms of light coverage. I knew it was going to be a light coverage foundation just because, you know, her looks tend to have like really beautiful skin where it's very natural looking. So I wasn't expecting a full coverage foundation, but I was expecting better than this especially better than this packaging and I was expecting better for the actual primer especially because it's supposed to be skincare with that in mind I know that not all products are going to work for all people obviously um, but I guess I was just a little bit let down like I wanted the primer to be like the most amazing primer I've ever tried in my life and I wanted the powder to do more <laughs> I wanted there to be like this silky smooth um, finish you know what I mean and I feel like I didn't get that even like again where the where I actually put the powder at I just I feel like it didn't really elevate the makeup look and it didn't really set it either you know what I mean so I would say skip on the primer skip on the powder try out the foundation <laughs> Alright guys, that about does it for me. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you guys can actually see me through all of this shine on my forehead. If you did like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if the mood suits you. Also, um, stay tuned. I have a few more product reviews, foundation reviews, whole bunch of stuff coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.